Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you'll learn in how to use QuickBooks for Auto Repair Shop. So the very first thing that you should do here is you just have to open any of your web browser and then you have to log into your QuickBooks account, okay? So just open a new tab and search for QuickBooks. That's right, so this one right here, so you just have to click on this one. Okay, so right here, if you are from the Philippines, so you just have to go to the Philippines site. And right here, you'd be able to see this Try QuickBooks or the Sign In option at the top right if you already have an account. But if you don't have an account yet, you have to subscribe to a plan. And then you'd be directed to your dashboard after um, giving your um, payment information. So right here, let's start with our profile. So we have to make sure that the industry type that we have is the auto repair shop. So just go here to your account and settings, and then go to the company type. Okay, so for the industry type, we just have to select this. Um, okay, so let me just, uh, this one, repair and maintenance. So you just have to click on it and then save. And then if you cannot find here the... Um, industry type so you just have to click on it once again and then select the repair and maintenance that's right and click on save now that you are done with this one you can actually upload your you know company logo if you want to but we're just going to skip that part okay so right here at the left side as you can see we have so many options so we're just going to focus on some of the important things that we can do here for our business so let's um, start with the expenses. So in the expenses section, we can actually create a new transaction since this account has, uh, you know, created for the tutorial. So just going to select a purchase order. Okay, so right here on the purchase order, you just have to uh, select your supplier. And if you don't have a supplier yet, of course, you have to create a, or add your new supplier. Okay, and then put here the email and then the mailing address and then ship to just have it to select your customer right here okay and then you just have to select the purchase order date okay and then the shipping address and then the um shipping method okay now for the category if you don't have any category yet you just have to go here and then um, click on this arrow and then you have to select your category Okay, so of course you have to put a description and then the amount and the customer. Okay, so you can create a new customer as well and you'll be able to see here the total cost. Okay, and then what is your message to the supplier or do you have any um, instruction? So you can put that right here and after that we can now close this one. So going back to the expenses, we also have here the suppliers. So when you click on the suppliers, okay, so you can import supplier from your files or you can add them manually. So if you want to add them manually right here, just have to input their name and then contact. So we have the title, their first name, the middle name, last name. And then for the address, we have um, street address number one, okay. And then if you would like to add a note and attachments, you just have to scroll down and put these details right here. After that, you just have to click on save. Now going to the expenses section again, when you click on the new transactions, you have so many options right here. And the next thing that we are going to talk about is the budget. Since this is a business, of course, we have to create our budget okay so here at the left side you just have to scroll down and click on the budgets option that's right and then if you don't have a budget yet you just have to click on create a budget that's right and then how do you want to set up your budget so you have to select your preferred options so for the budget type we have profit and loss and then just have to select your period and then the budget format and we also hear the pre-filled data and then the available setup options and then once you're done setting up this a section just have to click on next and then right here you have this form so all you have to do here is to input all of the details for your budget so we have yearly we have um, quarterly and monthly 
Okay, so we have here the different months over the years and you have your total income and then the total cost of goods that is being sold. Okay, after that, you just have to save this budget. Just make sure that you have put here all of your details. Okay, so we're just going to close this one for you now. Okay, now as you can see, we have successfully created our first budget. Now, the next thing that you can do here is to add a task. So you can start by adding your first, first task for yourself or a team member. You just have to click on add task and then you have to give this task a name and then a description. Then after that, you have to assign this task to your team member. So you just have to click on this select one and then make sure that you have added here already your team. And then the status for this one in progress and then the due date and then how you want this to be prioritized okay and then you also have records here that you can put a link okay and then after putting here the task name you just have to save it and then your very first task will be saved okay so the next thing that we are going to talk about is the transactions so here on the transaction section we have the bank transactions so we have to connect a bank or a credit card so we can get started and then review and add your transactions and see how your business is doing. So you just have to connect an account or upload a transaction right here. So on the reconcile section, we could just have match the books to the bank records. For the rules, we have save time to the rules. You just have to, you know, go to the rules for this one. And then for the chart of the accounts. So you'll be able to see here the different accounts. Okay, so as you can see right here, we have this format. And then if you want to create a new one, just click on the new. Then for the recurring transactions, you'll be able to see that right here. Okay, now let's proceed to the sales. Here on the sales section, you can create, send, and instruct invoices. So for the invoices section, you can do work, get paid, and it's that easy. So you just have to create an invoice. Here you can request approvals and more with um, estimates. We have here the sales orders as well. So simplify sales order management. And we also have here the customer section. So you just have to keep track of who needs to pay you. And then the products and the services to get started with a product and services you just have to create an items or import items right here now using the quickbooks for an auto repair shop offers several advantages that can help streamline business operations and improve financial management so it allows shop owners to easily track income and expenses manage invoices and monitor the cash flow all in one place so that's it for this video. If you think this video helped you solve your concern, please subscribe, like this video, and leave your comment below. Bye!